Hey guys, this is That's Toys and Things, and this is Fright Fighter from the Masters of the Universe. This vehicle was released back in the 80s, in the later part, about 1986, uh, and it was never in any of the animation, so not a lot of people really know about this vehicle, but it is huge, it is exciting, and it is one of the, uh, I think, uh, one of the best vehicles that we released for the Masters of the Universe line. Looking at this vehicle, this resembles a dragonfly. I'll show you a dragonfly here. And this vehicle is part of the Evil Warriors. And it was piloted by a, a Skeletor, I believe. But in the other mini comic series, it was piloted by somebody else. But for the most part, this is uh, for Skeletor. And some of them, I think, um, they've shown it in the comics that it was uh, piloted by Hordak. And then another one showing that it was piloted by Dragstore. Now, while I do have Dragstore, I have Hordak, I'd like this to be piloted by Skeletor. Let's take a look at this massive vehicle. And just to give you an idea of the scale of this thing, I have here He-Man on his Sky Sled. And this is He-Man, Sky Sled, and this is... The Fright Fighter. Now the Fright Fighter comes with four wings. So it's an omnitopter, that's what you call it. If you ever see one of this that's actually made, right at the back you have a raider and another weapon here, a gun. Now with this old plastic you got to be really careful because um, I made a mistake here I pulled it out uh, rapidly and I think I made a little bit of a a little bit of a crack there uh, that's fine I mean it's it's a really old vehicle and this plastic they're brittle so you got to be really careful but one thing that I do have I still have the stickers here and some of the stickers on the wings, I do have them like this and this one. The other side is a little bit filling off, but that's just how it is with this old toys. Now, the details on this thing is really amazing. So uh, let me show you. Okay. Look at the side. Look at the details on the side and look at the top. Look at the top here. See that? See that fan? And then the uh, the details on that, it, it's really good. They don't they don't really have to do that, but since it's exposed, I guess that's why they did. But it really is good, very very good. Now, that's the side, and going to the front. As you can see, he has two more lasers in here. Again, this is the part where you really have to be careful when you're trying to take this off. For the most part, this part always, almost always breaks. So when you take them off, I would probably use a heat gun to soften it up before I started pulling something out. Now, you see the finchers in here. And of course, you have the canopy and there's skeleton. There you go, and besides Skeletor, he actually have controls on each side. So here, you can see the control here. There you go. And then this tiny light is not really with this toy, I just put it in. So when I close it, I kind of see uh, a bit of a light inside, so I can see his face. Uh, but this is... Let's see if I can take this out. There you go. So this is what it looks like without the figure inside. And when I put back the skeleton, here you go. He fits right in. And then you close the canopy, put a cockpit, and here is the other side. Now, you see that there's a fincher in front. There's actually a control for that fincher right down here. So there's two triggers. This is the first one. And this control the pincher. 
There you go. And this one controls the wings. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I mean, if you were a kid playing with this thing, you're going to have so much fun. I, I, I'm telling you, you're gonna, I'm, I'm having so much fun with it. And I can just imagine if I had this as a kid, this would be amazing. And right at the back, look at the back. There's just a sticker that's in there. So showing you that these are like thrusters. And on the side of the thruster, you have those stickers. And on the front, you have that rotor blades. I will show you rotor blades here. And look at those blades. This just it's just such an amazing toy from the 80s and I know well we all know that Origins um, is trying to bring back the Masters of the Universe figures and some of the vehicles they already did like Rotar uh, they did uh, the shark and some of the vehicles they did I don't know if this is something that they're gonna do um, just because of the size it's too big uh, it's it's very hard to find nowadays especially if you're not in the US uh, shipping would be a pain and every time these pieces are taken off and put back almost always something breaks or if they don't break they would have some sort of a like this one I don't know if you could see it there's a bit of a stress mark in here stress mark like this one this is stress mark so if I have to take it off like I said I would probably use a heat gun and then I take I'll take it off from here and I'm not gonna touch it from here if I do that I, I think this is gonna break and then same with the wings uh, the wings you can take off this one you can actually take off I'd be very careful in doing that again these things are very brittle because of their age. Look at that. And this one, like I said, I made a mistake on this one. I pull it so fast that now there's a stress mark. A little bit break in there, but that's fine. I mean, it still goes in. And this is for my personal collection anyway. I think there's a sticker in here at the back, but this one is missing it. And I'm fine. that's fine. I mean... For the most part, I would say that without the box, this is a very complete set. And I really, really love it. Imagine you as a kid playing that. Hey, look at that. It's flying, flying. And then at the same time, you're going to grab He-Man from here. So grab, grab, grab He-Man. See if I can grab He-Man here. So he's on a jet sled, he's trying to run off, but I already grabbed you. There you go, you can't get away from me, and you are now my prisoner. <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And there you have it, there you have it. This is the, uh, again, this is the Fright Fighter from the Masters of the Universe uh, from the 80s, 1986 to be exact. And this is going to be part of my collection as well. I, I, if you've been uh, following my channel, you've seen that I, I do have a lot of vintage collection, uh, especially for the Masters of the Universe. Um, I grew up in the 80s, so this is really a part or a staple in my collection. And once again, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to click that like, share, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video up. And I will see you on the next one. Let's see. I'm going to fly away now. Bye-bye.